Welcome everyone to this overview of the Real Game Effects Fog Monster for tabletop games. And we're going to take this unit apart, put it back together, and show you how to operate and maintain it. So as you can see, we're using our clear unit here. If we had the black unit, you wouldn't be able to see all the insides here. And it's just a little easier to explain it like this. So let's start with a simple feature, and that is the cap. Now, first of all, this little plate comes off and allows you to attach a fan here for the pressure fan. Now that's, I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's just put this on for now. This is an important feature. If you take this off, it allows air to come in and cycle through the unit and more fog will come out the vent here. So a simple rule, leave the cap off. If you want more fog, put the cap back in if you want less fog. So let's just take it out for now, set it aside. You'll notice that this lip here on this what we call the fog riser is in the front so always aim this towards the front and as the water's coming out of here um, it kind of stops any little drops that might try to sneak out through the front here so uh, angle this towards the front now you can see we've got two wires here the white and the black and this is going to the ultrasonic transducer now this is a 24 volt wire and it corresponds to the 24 volt input on our power supply. So you can see we've got three ports here, five volt, five volt, and 24 volt. So you're gonna match the black wire that you receive with this, plug it in here, plug that into the five volt port. The white wire corresponds with the 24 volt. Now, in the production model, this grommet will also be white so that will also help with the color coordination there. Now let's go ahead and take it apart. So just slide these out of these little rubber grommets here and you can see our ultrasonic transducer comes right out and we're going to take out the pump now and we'll just lift this unit out and everything is a press fit on here so it makes it very easy to take apart and clean so you'll see the pump just comes right off and you'll notice also that there has a little black plastic elbow that goes in here. So when you put this together, make sure that you exert pressure straight up and down when you're putting that little elbow on. You can see the hole in the pump here that just fits right over, snugs right up there. And then, you know, try to center it a little bit. It's not really important, but it's a good idea to just kind of center it in there. And then you can see there's also another feature here. Uh, you probably want to leave this open all the time, wide open all the time. If you do clean it and you accidentally shut it, you won't get any water supply in there. So go ahead and just leave that open. Now, when you're putting this back in, you'll notice that there's a little slot here where this wire goes through. There's also a slot here that fits over the rubber grommet. And then the front slot fits over the large rubber grommet. Now, this plate also comes off and it plays a crucial role in here because what it does is it stops the fog as it's rolling over the top and forces it to come out this hole here. If you don't have the plate on, all the fog will just fall back down into the bottom of the reservoir there. So make sure that you have that on. Now, let's go ahead and set this inside. And this can be a little bit of a trick, trying to get this plug in and putting it through that grommet there. Now, you can do it. If you find it's impossible to do it that way, there's another little trick that you can use. Go ahead and just take the whole unit out and push it all the way through. Then, when you put this unit in, push this back through. Same difference, a little bit more effort, but same result. Now on the ultrasonic transducer, another little trick here. Um, you'll notice that we've got three little channel ribs in here and what it allows this to do is sit in here. Now I recommend that you use this one. I'm going to show you why. If you put this in with this lined up in the back and then you plug this in, notice that this is covering the center. Now this is where the jet stream comes up and creates fog. If it hits this wire, it will reduce the amount of fog. So I would definitely recommend that you take this out, turn it in this direction, and now it's completely out of the way. 
So that's a quick overview. I do want to show you that fan component. So here is the pressurized fan. And again, if you take this little plate off, you've got these four holes that it screws onto. Now you'll notice I'm only using one screw here and I, I'm doing that on purpose because I use this as a mechanical lever. So say I don't want as much pressure, I might push that off to the side. I want full pressure, I put it back on. And the reason that we're doing that, if you haven't seen it, but we have some pipes that attach to this and uh, you can, with the pressure in here, you can cause that steam effect, kind of like push up through the pipes and uh, just setting that on full blast there. And maybe you don't want as much steam coming up, so you might just push it off to the side. So just little tips and tricks if you decide to use them. Um, lastly, the amount of water that you're going to use. This is about nine ounces here. You want the water to be just below this plate here. So you should be able to pour an entire bottle in there. We also recommend that you clean this out after you use it. Treat it just like a utensil. Uh, if you use it once and you're not going to use it again for, you know, maybe a day or so, definitely pour all the water out and just let it sit and dry. And then the next time you use it, just reassemble it. As you can see, it's not hard to do. So again, we want to thank you for your support, uh, helping us to do this project. Um, we really appreciate everybody that helped bring this to life. And we hope that you've enjoyed this overview. And uh, remember, you'll have three wires here, just to throw that in at the end here. If you get the optional fan, it'll come with three wires. If you don't get the optional fan, it's only going to come with two wires. So thanks for checking this out. We'll see you soon.